Hey what's up guys it's Tova here welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about the lighting of your map and how to change your own lighting so to get started right away we have these basic options which is dawn midday dusk midnight sun and we'll say at midday at the moment and let's start off with the sliders over here so we have the sea level this is the level of the sea as you can see this is the sea what a complicated sentence so by increasing the sea level the sea source rise and it keeps on rising and if you make it up to one it basically disappears what if i make it go down it's up to here but let's lower it and make it at open one <clears throat> and this is the snow level so the snow level basically the higher you get in the map it starts snowing basically so over here let's make it at 80% <clears throat> so now when I reach 80% of the height of the map or the borders themselves it should start snowing and you have to make sure that you enable can snow and you'll start to see some snow and fog when you reach 80% of your map and then we have the moon this basically adds the moon I'm not sure if we will be able to see it right now but if we go to dawn and here we go so we have the moon this changes the cycle of the moon and it changes the zombies actually if you have an understanding of unturned you'll know that if there's a full moon just like that one the rate of zombies increase and their strength I believe so yeah so this changes the moon basically and how it cycles and this is the time we could change the time from here manually as you can see okay so now that we're done with that let's talk about the azimus azimus i believe that's how it's pronounced and this is basically how a sun cycles so let's go up slightly and start playing with the azimus and you'll start to see that the sun cycles basically and this basically changes the position of the sun in the map and when time passes it goes up or down if you play with it it's going to go up from this area and this area will have more lighting by the way okay <clears throat> and now we have the bias bias is basically the ratio of day to night per day and if you make it go all the way down it's going to stay at night if you make it go all the way up it's going to say sunny and if you make it just in between it's going to have equal day and night periods and if you make it go slightly to the left it's going to have more night time than sun and let's demonstrate it as you can see it lasts much longer compared to the sun and we have the fade this is basically how the sun transitions it also increases the lightning a bit let's make it midday let's turn on the bias midday here we go now if you if you play with the fade basically you get a value and it changes the transition basically and yeah so that's it for these sliders and these ones and let's talk about the colors over here they're actually good but not that important and before you mess with any one of them make sure you know the default value because if you made a mistake you could just reverse it instead of playing with it so let's make it midday and let's start off with the sun actually let's go to dawn so this doesn't change the color of the sun it actually changes the lightning of the sun and let's demonstrate it let's keep it midday so if you look up to the sun and you play with these sliders you see no effect but if you look down you'll start to notice it and yeah so just to suggest just giving you some suggestions this could actually be good if you have uh, an event such as a halloween event or winter event christmas you could play with the lightning make it you know a little bit uh, more blue to give the vibe of you know cold weather and stuff like that and it looks awesome 
and if you have summer event you could increase the green decrease the blue i hope you understand you get the point that i'm trying to say and we have the fog right now so this is basically the fog and let's just go to dusk and you go down to increase the fog over here in these sliders and this basically gives you a foggy map and we could play with its colors actually uh, we could make it more red more green more blue feel free but let's turn it down a little bit and now we'll talk about the top sky so the top sky we have to go up actually a little bit and make it midday to see the difference so we have three levels of sky so you have the top the middle and the bottom you won't see the bottom easily unless you're flying like me and you probably won't be flying in survival so the top and middle are the most important ones so by increasing the value it makes it more red to make it less green and this turns it into purple you can make it less blue and it becomes green so that's it for the top sky and let's go to the middle and let's turn down the red color turn down the green and give it a brown color I believe so that's it for the top and middle <clears throat> you'll see the bottom easily when you're flying but when you're on the ground itself it's really hard to see it or notice it so let's make it just like that okay <clears throat> and we just changed our colors into uh, a good looking map I believe so the top ambient is really difficult to see and notice so I got a building over here just for demonstration so the top ambient is basically the top of any building such as tree uh, building just like that one and when you play with these values you start to notice some difference just like that and you could also see it on the skies I believe not really <laughs> it's more noticeable on the building and yeah and the ground as well and you have the middle ambient and when you start to play with the middle ambient you could see the walls itself of the building start to change so as the tree if you can see over here okay and now we have the <clears throat> bottom ambient and you get the point hopefully you just play with it and the clouds finally you could change it make it uh, less green more blue gives you a purple or pink color and we have the rays and the particle lightning you basically play with these values until you get the color you want and yeah that's kind of a basic idea and now we have the intensity so I want to go up a little bit just to demonstrate it Let's make it uh, midday and play with the intensity and as you can see the color intensity changes of the map <clears throat> let's just leave it at max and the fog and the clouds and please before you max out the clouds like I did and it crashed my game just increase it slightly and you'll see some difference or just decrease it okay so just try not to max it out because it's probably going to crash your game and you don't want that and now we have the shadows by playing with this you have different shadow value and make sure you have shadow turned on by the way shadows so right now we have this tree let's decrease the shadows and you could see and notice a difference easily and finally the rays by playing with the rays you get different value I believe on the tree it was noticeable uh, let's make it dusk for example and play with the rays well for some reason it's not noticeable but it basically changes the light rays and yeah so that's it for the lightning in this quick tutorial and I'll see you in the next one